Good morning, North Modesto friends and friends from across the country. I want to talk with you this morning from Luke chapter 1 again about the angel Gabriel's visit to Mary. What was going on when he came to her? We saw she was nobody from nowhere. It says, Hail, favored one, the Lord is with you. What's going on in those verses? Let me give you an anecdote to help explain. Back in the early 2010s, we lived in Rochester, New York, and we had a beloved dog that died. So after some grief time, we went down to the rescue shelter and came home with a husky named Dakota. Now, if you know anything about huskies, huskies are runners. We waited a while in getting Dakota because we wanted to have our son come home from college and kind of readjust. He'd been his freshman year and see we we had a dog, even though he was going to miss our previous dog, Ghost. So we bring Dakota home, and Dakota comes in the house. Uh, it's, you know, June. And as Dakota comes in, my son decides to take him for a walk around the yard. So he opens the door uh, like it was Ghost and says, let's go see the yard. And then he goes to get the leash. Little did he realize that, like I say, huskies are runners. So Dakota takes off. And my son in hot pursuit. He's a college wrestler, but he can't catch a running husky. For the next three days, we chased Dakota around our neighborhood and around the hilly areas near our house. We put out rewards. We told the kids riding bikes, we'd, we'd give them five or ten bucks. We put out posters. We talked to everyone we knew. We talked to animal control. I told my sons, if you see him, get lower than him so he's not threatened by you. Three days, no luck, but although it started to be sightings of Dakota. Then we got a phone call from a neighbor, Mr. McGuire, who said, I think your dog is eating the cat food I leave out for a stray cat. Well, that was good news. We weren't going to give up on Dakota. So Mr. McGuire, who is one of those retirees who could be really, really helpful, decided to rig up a trap. So he put a path of cat food into his garage and then set an electronic trap. So when Dakota followed the cat food into his garage, all of a sudden the door behind him would close shut. He'd be trapped and we can bring him home. All we wanted to do was give Dakota the Husky a good home. Home where he'd have plenty of food, home where he'd have plenty of water, where he'd be warm in the winter and cool in the summer, where he'd experience love. Now. In the home, there'd be rules. He wouldn't be able to poop wherever he wanted. He wouldn't be able to gnaw on the electrical cords, but we wanted to give him a good home where he could just enjoy his life in peace. Well, Mr. McGuire rigs up his trap, and then at about two in the morning, I get a phone call. Tim, it's Mr. McGuire. We got him. And so we went over, hooked the coat up his leash, uh, quite calmly, he walked home with us, walked right into our bedroom, uh, lay down on the floor in the mat we had for him and slept pretty soundly for about three days. He was home. What's Gabriel doing when God sends Gabriel to Mary? God is saying, like Jesus would say in Luke chapter 19, he's come to seek and save the lost. God is saying like the prodigal son's father, the real hero of the story, in Luke chapter 15, I am preparing a home for you. You've tried it your own way and that hasn't worked out. Now it's time to come home. And I'm opening the house to you. You'll be safe. You'll be secure. You'll have your food. You'll be warm enough when it's time to be warm and cool enough when it's time to be cool. You'll be taken care of. Now you're not going to be the king of the house. God's the king of the house. It's God's house. But come on home. Here's a place for you. Your own way, you're just wet, tired, hungry, and angry. When Gabriel comes to Mary, that's the message. God is invading, inviting everyone to come on home. And Jesus, who's going to come, will be the one to seek and save that which was lost. But he's also coming, not just as the servant, He's coming as the Lord. He's coming as the King. We'll talk about that more tomorrow. Keeping your prayers. I feel like I'm doing better. I'm getting stronger, but but still have a long ways to go. Um, I told Dean on the phone, I'm not 
fighting in Iraq or working in a coal mine. It's just recovering from surgery. And God is gracious and God is merciful. And I, I thank God a thousand times. Many will see and fear and will trust in the Lord. I hope because of his great work towards me. God bless you. Serve the Lord. Seek the kingdom of God. Read the Bible and pray every day and look for ways to tell others about the glorious message of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. God bless you.